Hello everyone, on this video I'd like to talk about corporate structures, particularly um, with regards to safeguarding assets. So what I mean by that is if you are a successful trading company and unfortunately you may be attacked by creditors or have a lawsuit against you, then one way to protect the assets of the company, even though it is a limited company, would be to insert a new company above the existing trading business, uh, which further protects the valuable assets of that business. So what happens is you insert a, a new company above the existing trading business. So the shareholdings are swapped. So rather than uh, be a shareholder in the trading company, you become a shareholder in the top company, and that top company in turn owns 100% of the trading company. And what you then do is you transfer up all the valuable assets that are parked in the trading company. So they're not at risk of being attacked by creditors and litigators and the like. So assets such as valuable plant and machinery, but also surplus cash. If you have a surplus cash in the business... Um, over and above the requirements for working capital, you can move that up to the top co and then uh, invest it accordingly. You can invest it in any type of asset at all. Uh, there's no restrictions, unlike uh, with, say, pensions, where there are certain restrictions on the asset class that you can invest in. With a top co, you can put it anywhere you like. Um, so that scenario ring fences assets um, and then by um, transferring the assets up to the top co, there's no uh, tax for doing that. So going forward, uh, you've got cash, you've got assets in the top co. Um, if you pay a dividend from the company, the trading company, it won't go to the uh, original shareholders because they are no longer the shareholders. The new top co is the shareholder. So the dividend will have to be paid from trading co to top co and then from top co to the shareholders. Now, that step of transferring the dividend from the trading co to the top co, that is free from corporation tax. So that's a tax non-event. Um, so it's just a question of paying income tax on the dividend that's paid out from the top co to the shareholders, like there would be uh, if you hadn't have inserted the top co. So the top co's are, are, a, are a, um, a good way of, of protecting assets. And also, going forward, if you come to sell the trading business, say, and it would actually be the top co that is offloading its shares in the trade co as opposed to the shareholders. So there would be uh, the inflow of cash when you sell the trading company would come into the top co. Now, that is also free of capital gains tax. It's called substantial shareholding exemption. So sell the trading um, subsidiary and the money comes into the top co and that is free of capital gains tax. And then um, you've got a choice of what to do that you could leave uh, a lot of it, most of it invested in the top co in all sorts of things. Or you could decide to pay out some of it as dividends if you wanted to get uh, the money in your hands. But as a, as a tax um, efficient way to invest a company... Um, is is often better than investing in your individual name. So you could leave the money in the company and say start a property portfolio or invest in stocks and shares or all all sorts of different assets. Um, this is after you've you've uh, had the proceeds of of the trading subsidiary. Leave them in the top co and and reinvest them. Um, and it would be tax efficient because you're only paying corporation tax on any yields. So on any um, on any um, interest earned or any rent received in that top co, um, you're only paying corporation tax. Whereas if it had been individually held assets, you pay your highest rate of uh, marginal rate of income tax, which could be 40 or 45%. So top co, good for protecting company assets to get them out of the trading co. And then also longer term when you've sold the trading co, you're thinking of what to do with the proceeds, leave them invested in that top co, and that will have uh, tax benefits. So if you like this uh, video, please do subscribe, and I will see you soon. Thanks.